<laughs> All right, thank you, Dragon Age. Hi, hello. All right, so we talked to the boy. We got a really good bunch of dialogue with him last time. Our best ghost son. There's an Easter egg that's around the Highland Ravager that I want to go and grab. I had to do some research and it uh, led me down a bit of a rabbit hole. So we're going to go and explore that a little bit. I want to do hissing voice first. Haha. -ha. Okay, so now let's see if I have enough time to get Josie and Blackwall together by putting Varric and Blackwall on our parties and having their banter progress before the end of the game. I wonder if it'll still work during the DLC. We just do Trespasser last. We'll have to find out. Oh, did I take him out of my party? Might be. Sorry, Solus. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, Your Worship. This space has nothing but... space. If there's nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. <laughs> She's like, this place is the worst, can we not? I don't want to have to chill out here. Not that I blame her. Corypheus wouldn't send out his followers unless it was worth it. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins, on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. Really? The Red Templars are digging them out, with Venatori supervision. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Red Templars heading northwest to here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Oh. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. Oh, um, thank you very much. Just the, like, delight in her voice. Like, she's a D&D &D adventurer. Who found loot? Dispatch for you. Oh my god. All right. What do you have for me? That's fine. Okay. What do you need? What is it? See for yourself, sir. Okay. Hissing waste geological survey. Oh, look at these fancy hats on these fancy boys. All right. Oh. Okay. Now, we gotta find the Venatory camp north of the cove. Let's go do that. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. Sometimes, Dragon Age be like that. Hello, N7 man. Good afternoon. It is really chill and calm here. And that's like the kind of day we want to have. Chill and calm. What? Is that a statue? Is that like a, a unicorn pepper? I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I'm sorry about the ankles. A narwhal pupper? Right? Who needs ankles? Oh, maybe I can't get up there. Well, okay. We'll just have to... Keep the mythological narwhal pepper in our hearts. The place to give suggestions for one shots. We can talk about it here, um, but yeah, Discord um, works too. Discord, if you want to like keep it on record for later, but right now is also fine because we got a pick today too. Oh, I think we needed some of that. Uh, my least favorite thing to do. The bone scraping really gets me. There's a whole bunch of animal noises out that way too. Oh! 
Just the two. Up, oh, there's one. Oh, this one you can't go all the way around. The one in in Pluleon let you pull an exorcist. There you go. Or now, owl. owls are much cuter. <laughs> there's only eight shards here. That's fairly easy. Okay, before we go on the hunt for shards, let's head off towards that uh, camp. Oh, Sun Stop Mountains. That is a big old moon. Well, oh. it doesn't want for sand. Are those <laughs> lights in the distance? Someone's made a fire. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. And hopefully they're not mean. Yeah, the, the moon's giving me Majora's Mask vibes. <laughs> He's a big old boy. All right. Oh, yeah. I was wondering who we were gonna find over here. I'm worried I heard people. Oh, maybe? <gasps> I did hear people behind. I want to do some special abilities, but uh, he's got that Fennec right next to him, and I don't want to accidentally kill the Fennec. Ow. Can you not? I'm trying to spare the wildlife, and you're being really unreasonable. Surprising no one, the Red Templars don't care about the ecosystem. Oh, hey, Brontos, are y'all chill? You sound like bears, oddly enough. Okay, goodbye. What is this? I can't even really tell. But I see it that rift over there. But we're not yet towards the camp. We'll get all those things on our map. I'm not super worried about it. They sound like the bears in the other areas of the game. Oh, there's so many ways to go. Uh, you know what's another game we never finished much of? Skyrim. Oh, hi. It's a pleasure to see a new face. Watch out for those Tevinter mages. They aren't so kindly as Hunter Mag, which is me. Aww. <laughs> Why come out here for game? What do you hunt? Not game. I bring back fine furs and shiny teeth they cut and sew in Orlé. I'm not the only hunter here. Val Royal is always hungry for the best. He can make a fortune feeding that beast. Quill back spines, for example. All the fashion for men's hats last winter. Oh my goodness. Anything I should look out for? Watch out if you have to fill your water skins. There's more monsters than normal staking out the oasis. Do you know what the Venatori mages are doing here? <laughs> Arguing amongst themselves, mostly. I think they're trying to find a way inside that tomb with the two statues. It's locked tight as far as I can tell. Thank you. Farewell. Heed the winds. I'm having to resist the urge to just go and follow all the little things that we see. Like, oh, there's a rift. Oh, <laughs> there's a person. Because that's how I play Skyrim, which is what made me think about it. <laughs> like, I've quote unquote beat the game once when it came out, but I haven't really played that much since then. We played a little bit of it. So, for instance, if I leave. Hello? Is he dead? Hold on. I, I I still don't really know what to make of this. He dead. And he has gold? Um, thank you, Sky Gods, for this gift of mammoth, I guess. What is what's being a spook? Are you mad? Don't be mad. 
Don't be mad. We can just keep moving. Everything's fine. Yeah, Skyrim is totally an on-again, off-again relationship. There are so many side quests. Oh, well, there's another camp right there. Is it a different camp? No, that sounds like Venatori. Yep, here we are. I'm sorry, mage boy. Um, mage rights are mage fights, but you're on the wrong side of this one, babe. Guard captain from Kirkwall that you're friends with. <gasps> She's Evelyn. stronger than you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just checking. I love her. Oh, hi. Hi. Please don't. You're safe from me. Bye, Andraste. Thank you. Are you okay, my dude? Is your buddy okay? So, is this not the camp? That sounded like Ben- Oh. Fennec, you scared me so bad. We have a bunch of little uh, geckos around. The cute, like, leopard print ones that aren't really leopard print, but you know what I mean if you've seen them before, maybe? And they don't bother me in the least, but they always give me just, just a bit of a fright before I realize it's- Oh, oh, it's just a gecko. It's just a little boy. So I guess we just keep looking then. We keep going to, uh, to campfires that we see off in the distance. Because this map area is huge. But I mean, I guess we can stop and have a demon uh, pit stop. You're gonna fucking hurt. There's a banana stick weapon? I haven't! A banana stick. Yeah, we're about that time in the game that if there's like secrets and Easter eggs and stuff that you know I haven't found yet, let me know because I want to see them. It's a big boy. <gasps> Two big boys. Oh, all right, that's what we're doing today. Do I have enough focus? Oh, ah! I do. Why are you glowing? And why are you green? He sounds like Lyrium, but he's green. Okay, I guess we're just like, we shrug and move on. One of those circumstances, I guess. Oh, we 
can set up camp here. This looks like the, uh, the place in the picture. Oh, you know what? It might just be kryptonite. <laughs> There's still a dude back there? Yep. Well, I mean the last. <gasps> How rude! Oh, okay, good. It didn't last very long. Good Varric's hat. <laughs> okay. So we've got that, but let's look around first. Sometimes when the camps change, not everything goes with it. A sand-covered note. Who is this from? All right. Lethus. I expected the wagon we sent out to the canyons to return to the watchtower by evening. It's now past noon. That it does not take a half day to travel from camp to camp should be obvious. But if no one has the sense to be alarmed, look for them immediately upon finishing this letter. Take archers with you. Those... No... Those spiders in the canyon seem to fear nothing. But that screeching monster to the east... I'll be by the four pillars, Devrenix. No, 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 you're totally fine, Cat. I'm not thrilled about spiders. Fold a letter. Esteris, the work goes well. But we're bound to be followed sooner or later. I've set up a watch on higher ground, in the Sunstop Mountains. Obviously named by someone who never beheld a real mountain. If you're looking for a harmonium, he's looking for the tomb in the canyons to the west. Magister Hurathus. <laughs> Alright, there was another... Oh, is it underneath? It has to be. Oh, look, we go in. <gasps> okay, let me double check the area before we turn it into a camp and then we'll go. I was about to say, I thought I saw something. Also, the intro to Demon Slayer is an absolute banger. Oh my God. There we go. The Four Pillars. Estorus, not only did we find the dwarven tomb precisely where I said we would, the writing on the stone uses a transitive verb found only in scripts that predate 700 TE. Is it Tevinter Emporium? Imperium. <laughs> Emporium. <laughs> where you buy the finest Tevinter crafts. It means, obviously, that these ruins were built before the first blight, just as I predicted when we started this expedition. I believe you owe me some gold, Avantham. All right, yeah, Devinter Emporium, 50% off your blood magic essentials. Many things. Do we should have all our potions equipped? I don't have any bees. What do I need for bees? I have. Oh, we needed blood lotus for something else. That's right, we were leveling our potions and then I very promptly forgot. The ADHD is really strong, y'all. It's very, very strong. And we are good to go and get into this really cool tag. Oh. What was that? It was just an unfortunately shaped stalactite. Some really odd root structure for, you know, not a lot of plants on the surface. Hello? Also, um, many dead Templars. Not that I'm complaining, but it is a little disconcerting because something killed them. Demons of the Stone! Oh. 
Interesting. Until further notice, do not tamper with the torches. Lighting them in the wrong order summons demons. Oh. The inscriptions on the pillars indicate the correct order, but wait until we have confirmed the accuracy of our translations before proceeding. I have made maps to the other tombs where there are similar structures. At the same warning, stay your hand there. Magister Gallus. Below this, someone else has written complicated formulas and scribbled many notes. Demons bound into the rock. How do the ancient dwarves manage it without mages? Binding runes? Subtle properties of stonework? Investigate. Gang. Carved into walls could be translated from Old Dwarven as stone waste or impure spirit of the stone. Dwarven superstition saw demons as impure spirits of rock. Study impossible with dormant demons. Ask Cephas and Urathus for help with binding. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks for that. So lighting them in the wrong order. Oh, but we've got stuff to read. Okay, good to know. And thank you for all the spooks. So that's where we grab our veil fire. Okay, let's read. This is the tale of Pharrell, paragon among paragons, father of two sons. Well, that sounds like the first one. So that's back right if we're facing the entrance. For pride, these halls were made to honor a father's deeds and grieve his loss. Definitely not the next one. Maybe the last one. And for lost, these halls were made to honor a brother mourned. No. This is maybe two? Who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. Okay, so the this one and the one across the way. Hi, uh, diagonal. There we go. <laughs> Hypotenuse. <laughs> That's the one we won't. We are still stuck on. So this one. This is the tale of Pharrell. Paragon among paragons. Father of two sons. Who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. Let's try this order. For pride these halls were made. To honor a father's deeds and grieve his loss. I read some of your book. Hard in Hightown, was it? Riveting stuff. And you only read some? Well, I uh, found it in a latrine in a village near Cherno. It uh, was missing some pages. Would that be the worst? You spend all this time and energy working on this masterpiece and people use it for toilet paper. And for lost, these halls were made to honor a brother mourned. Shit. Those are little... And this, is there only one on each? Yeah. So this is definitely the first, right? And this one has to be second. A, it makes sense. B, it's the uh, logical culmination to that sentence. Fought against her father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. For pride, these halls were made to honor our father's deeds and grieve his loss. I keep going to this order, but it, there's still something about it that's not perfect. You know what I mean? Let's try it. Well, I guess we need some Veilfire. So, this is one. This is two. Oof. Eef. Thank you. Three. Ooh, do we get it? Four. A burial chamber, I think. Nice, we did it. It does sound like a burial chamber. It, it is a little weirdly worded, but we got it. I love the little imp voices. Ooh, a mosaic, thank you. The little imp voices in the veil fire. Oh, I really don't want to loot tombs. This sits very poorly with me. Do 
we have to? Let's pretend that those two are the tombs, and this is just a box that's sitting here. Oh, but that is many. The torn paper is of particular interest. Yep. So it's showing us where the next... <gasps> oh, we're, we're making a key with these fragments. All right, okay. Very cool. I like that a lot. The one person did say that there were many different tombs. Okay, we're in business, baby. Let's see, which one of these is closer? Definitely this one. So we're going the right way. And we'll just deal with that rift as part of our journey. Oh, more bodies. Wait. I never know when those are supposed to be just long dead people or dark spawn. Slightly uncomfortable with the both, honestly. Are they chained here? Strange. I do see another camp over there though. And I think that no cars is in the back. But let's deal with some oh, big boys. Good thing I have a cold imbued. Oh god. Oh, you're very fast. Cold imbued bow. Alright. Now that uh flame boy is taken care of. Is there somebody else? that we need to be keeping an eye out for. Look, there's more kryptonite. Is the rift affecting the lyrium that's out here somehow? Is that oh, let's get rid of the little guys. I am on fire and I don't like that. over there. There we go. Alright. Now, just another big boy. Can I, uh... There we go. Perfect. Alright! Close her up! Easy. I like how those biggins aren't giving us as much trouble as they used to. I mean, we are level 22. And if I remember correctly, it is the, uh... <laughs> recommended age to start trespassing. Which is one of the DLC for for the people who don't know what I'm talking about. But there's a camp over there, I didn't want to look at it. What is this? Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, who's camping over here? Oh, it's just a statue. It's a dwarf boy. All right, back on objective, I guess. Even though this kind of looks like a great crevasse. Yeah, that's a little, uh, let's go over that bridge there. I wonder why that dwarven ruin, and why all of these dwarven ruins that we're coming across are on this surface. Oh, hi, boys. Dragon Age Origins still has the, oh, ooh, the really great ability to have your choices matter and stuff, but uh, it's more linear. And so you don't feel as overwhelmed. Oh, very rude. There we 
There we go. We good now? Okay, good. I saw this. Ooh, we just need one more of those and our survey is complete. The shallow basin. Okay, I'm peeping around all these areas. And then maybe ooh, a mage boy. Maybe we'll have another tomb to get into. At least another tag. I'm just gonna figure out where it is. Ooh, ooh, excuse me, Rick. Ooh. Very peculiar. All right. Think like until I can still take all the crafting components. A canyon tomb. A short note. Who is reading this? Harmonum. Morena. I'm returning to the main camp. Don't linger past sunset. We were working by torchlight, past dark, when a horde of spiders poured out of the canyon's rocks. There are red Templars on patrol, but if the Overseer wants us to go faster, he should ask the wretched brutes to guard us while we work. We already have few enough Venatori after the disaster at Redcliffe. Something the red Templars have taken pains to remind us about, I've noticed. Are all Templars in the south this haughty harmony? And another! Oh my goodness, so many. Now, where was the entrance? So we searched that camp, but. Wait, was there maybe not a tomb over here? What about that? That might be the entrance. Oh. It begins. Aha! That's much better. Let's get it. Oh, excuse me, though. There must okay, be something here. Yes, absolutely. I definitely agree. Maybe it's farther in or on top because it wants that corner. So let me get out and see if I can't find that. The Grey Wardens allow elves and dwarves into their ranks? Trunari too, I imagine. They don't care about titles or blood, just stopping the blight. A pity they do it so badly then. Ooh. Would you care to repeat that? I would be happy to argue my point with an actual Grey Warden. I may not like everything they've done. But without the Wardens, we'd all be blighted by now. They've bought us some time. I will grant them that. Oh, so is honey. Throw in some shade. Oh. A journal on Dwarven Ruins. The inscription on the ruins are all in the old tongue. Thank you, Grandmother, for teaching this ungrateful brat old Dwarven. The writing talks about the sad parting from the stone. Hundreds of years ago, several houses left their tigs to settle here under one leader. They were running from a war, 
are running so there wouldn't be a war? I read and reread the pillars until the light faded, but I know I'm missing something. I'll go back tomorrow. I wish Felicity's sister hadn't talked her out of joining me. I could use an extra pair of eyes to keep watch at night. Oh, I hope she... I hope they're okay. Hey! He did his best, Cal! He had to try something. And it didn't work out as intended. I'm gonna be a, a one lady, uh... Solace apologist. Well, I'm not apologist. Because I definitely call him out for the shit that he does. But I will also defend what I think her, uh, hasty? Hmm, I don't know what word I want to use for that. All right. <gasps> Yay, we finished. We did it. No, no, that's fair, Kyle. He does get shitty about things that people did to deal with the consequences of their actions. Which I really actually genuinely love about Solus. His reactions to things, even what we were talking about last time when he broke up with us. Oh, My heart. Um, and the way he was not super great about the breakup and kind of dismissive of us and our very, you know, valid hurt feelings. But it's a response that a reasonable person would have taken, right? Not everybody's perfect. And he was acting in that way because he was trying to implement his own coping mechanisms. And those were in turn hurtful to us. Not that that was his intention, but I, I love that. I love that about him. So even though like, yeah, he took his own actions to uh, right or wrong as he's doing, calling out Blackwell all in the money for a reasonable person. All right. How many can I have? A sad thing. It's not like we needed these things. We have plenty of, ooh, mosaic, thank you. We have plenty of money, but I have heard Josie's a very sweet romance but I have not romanced her personally. I don't think we can take that yet. <laughs> we have dwarven plates at home. <laughs> I love, I love. I wish Cassandra was by. I respect the fact that that's not how she rolls, but. Oh no, armchair, I totally get the like, being a, a little ruffled by Solus's comment about the wardens. And I haven't quite figured out, we know that he's upset about them killing the big darkspawn dragons, the old gods, right? But why is Solus so mad about it? What does he know that I don't? My guess is still that there's some Evanaris connection there. <gasps> no, 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 Kill it quickly, please. Oh. I feel like they do that intentionally to, to make Solus rile us up because we're used to being the Warden, right? We love the Grey Wardens. But, uh, I do, I, I want, oh, I want to know what he knows. I need to know what he knows. Aw, oh, Adam, that's really sweet. Have fun with Dragon Age and best wishes from Poland. Love how you're discussing souls in the game overall. Really nice to hear it. Thank you. I have to consciously not talk about Solus too much because my simp is showing. We need to leave. There are too many spiders. We need to leave. I can hear them and I'm unhappy about it. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. Maybe he knows another way to curtail the blights and they're just fumbling around in their Shemblin knowledge. But discrepancy is he's not 
trying to help either. Did y'all see that Bronto? He was like Sonic speed. He got to go fast. I think I think the crux of of the matter is that Solus knows things we don't know, and that is making it very difficult to tell whether he's being a shitter or not. I don't like the spiders being around because it makes me also like very. I don't like putting my feet on the ground either because the creepy crawlies, you know, you know. I hate it so much. I'm just gonna try not to think about it. Wasn't there supposed to be? Aha, here it is. I was like, <laughs> I'm just trying to get here before the spiders. Are the Venatori hiding everywhere in this desert? On the Basically. bright side, maybe we're- Inquisitor. Inquisition person! I was talking to Varric. Oh my God, how terribly rude. All right, now that we have got that camp, yeah, I am hopeful, um, with Weeks still being the lead writer. I'm trying to be very mindful, especially, especially from the perspective of a Solus Mancer. I was very, very fond of Solus. That uh, I need to make sure my expectations are reasonable. Um, I'm already sad that the likelihood of us not being the Inquisitor is very high. And I... I've already worked so hard to curry favor with Solus as Lavellin that it seems to be a disadvantage to be anyone else. Now, granted, that's just for Solus Mancers, really, just for Lavellins, but. Sorry, this cool road. I had to go walk on it a little bit. But, you know, we might end up being at odds with Solus, and that's something I have to accept as a reality. And I don't want to be like, oh, the game is ruined. All I want to do is smooch Solus, and all they'll let me do is, you know, beat him upside the head with a stick. So I'm trying to be uh, mindful, because I feel like that's where a lot of people didn't enjoy Andromeda, is because they're like, this is definitively what I want from this game. This is what I expect. And then when people don't follow through, of no fault of their own, the random people cannot dictate uh, what the game developers do. But, uh... I'm trying not to be... sad. If that is the outcome, right? I'd like to think that we'd get a cool choice, but that's a lot of stuff to consider when creating a game. Whether or not we can choose to, you know, work with Solus or, you know, against him. Oh, they're gonna respawn. More oh, big boys. Oh yeah, two for one special. Let's get the fire boy in the back. Hi, hello. Um, no thank you. Oh, I don't want to. Thing. We should do the thing. I'm running. There we go. It's, it's about having a positive perspective, and don't get me wrong, would I absolutely love if I get to team up with Sol- Would I absolutely love to team- Did you see the look on those nobles' faces back at the Winter Palace, Chuckles? They seemed unaccustomed to seeing elves without servants' livery, or dwarves at all. <laughs> Priceless. That's definitely going in my next story. Are you planning a chapter filled with courtly intrigue? Close. I need to describe the face someone makes when they choke down something terrible. Wow. 
couldn't even. T oh. I don't. I don't want this. Okay, let's just leave. Let's just leave. I. I didn't even want to tussle with those. You know, Dreadwolf. That's a really good fucking point. I hope we get to meet the Evanuris because that's the inevitable reality here, right? If we. If we lift the veil, the Evanuris are free. And oh my god, oh my god, am I going to just like live for every interaction we have with them, even if they're not great. Because a lot of gods and pantheons are problematic, right? That would be so fucking cool. That's where I want that to go. That's what I want to see. What I want to see from Dreadwolf is that we do get to interact with the Evanuris. And everyone's like, Soul it's why are you doing this? And then it happens, and the Evanuris pop out, and everyone's like, oh shit. And they're like, oh wait, no, uh, Solus, I 100% get why you did what you did. Um, could you help us? And then Solus plays revolutionary all over again to deal with the Evanuris somehow, and to help what remains and uh, Elvenkind. That's, that's what I ideally would like. Obviously, that might not happen. But, uh, yes. God. I just, I, I want to see all the Evanuris. Are you a mean dude? Oh, I know the hunter. Hi, what's up? There's a lot of people interested in the ruins out here all of a sudden. I wonder why. I don't want any. I just wanted to talk to that man. Why is he so rude? What if I have information? Little boy, don't make me kill you in your weird gapey jaws. Stop that. You're being a bad boy. Is it the only thing I can say? Or is it because I'm in combat? Fine. Oh, was that really genuinely it? Oh my god. Okay, we'll go and do this shit next time. But I think we got a deal. Did we aggro? No? Okay, perfect. Let's... I saw that these needed some leveling. Artificer and archery are completely maxed out. So what next? I guess we're doing sabotage. <gasps> I gave him the caltrops. It was me. No. I wonder if I can respect him. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to do any more caltrops because they were terrible. Maybe we could do stealthy boy instead and I can unspec from that category. I feel like there should have been two trees for this. Because there's a lot of stabby stuff that doesn't work for us. Can we... Yeah, let's battle map that. So maybe that way he won't throw caltrops down all the time. Okay, so what are your what is your artificer ability? What does this do? Okay, set a trap. Okay, that's fine. That's not quite so bad. I feel bad because all of his artificer... Sh oh, hail of arrows. Yeah, let's map that. So avoid the traps altogether. Oh, I did already map that. I'm the worst. Elemental mines. We place a thieves lantern. Oh, oh, that's handy. And he does get beat up a lot. So let's map that. I don't usually fuck with this shit, but he does get beat up a lot. And I'm really tired of the can of the caltrops. I think I'll need another ability to get traps out of there completely. Yeah, we'll give him evade. Or dust. Knockout powder the next time we can. And that way, he won't be killing all the wildlife. Okay, what were you building? Champion. Easy. All right, here we go. Cool new area to explore next time. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.